Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'll just, I'll just be talking about some new of the um, tweets that they released um, today and actually also yesterday. So some tweets related to the tower like this one, which I'll cover later, and some other just side tweets sh showing off some of the DLCs. Anyways, first up, we have this tweet, which says, Did you know spotting a baby panda means you're having a good day in the jungle, even if that flashing creeper is to even if that flashing creeper to your left says otherwise it was just a funny tweet tweeting the jungle awakens dlc which is already out and you can get it moving on to a more important tweet which is about the tower which i will also go into further detail before we actually start playing this video be sure to like and subscribe as i'm planning to hit 300 subscribers maybe even by the end of this year anyways let's get into the video and start the and so let's start it there's no sound but we can see we can see some of the puzzles, maybe? I think these are puzzles. More puzzles, like if you kill the mob, then you'll activate the puzzles. Waves of mobs. And actually back there, we saw some skeletons with swords. These are all just some of the different levels, which you have to like maybe face. So yeah, so first up, we actually have, so first up, we actually have our little spider cave area, which it looks pretty much like a spider cave, which like the one in Creeper Woods. So maybe this could be an arena where you fight tons of spiders and have to do something similar. Well, in Creeper Woods, I mean in like the ancient hunts, the spider cave by destroying some of the spider spawners. Up next, we have this little, maybe it's, all, it's called a floor with a balcony. And this is sort of maybe like a puzzle area where you have to go to the different areas, defeat some waves of mobs until you can progress on. Moving up to this one, which is actually pretty interesting, it is our little, like, back, let's just go back a bit, it is our little, actually, I think, maybe mob fighting area, where it seems like the player has to kill a skeleton, and then these two beacons will activate, or you press these two beacons, then they have to fight a ton of mobs. Back here, we can actually see something very interesting, which is actually some cool soul fires. So similar to the for to the Nether Fortress level from Minecraft Dungeon, and like the Nether Flames, another DLC, we can see some fire coming out, maybe like in like setting you on fire. Right here, we can also see ma skeletons literally with swords. So these could be a new mob that could be added to the game, like melee skeletons. Up here, we have another floor, which these look like sort of glass panels or like gateways to the next floor. And this is look, this looks like they're very higher up, so the mobs might be harder here. This looks like, like in the clouds, like pretty high up. And this one looks like maybe these arrows give us a hint. Maybe you have to like walk in these directions, go here, and maybe there's something here. Or you just have to fight through tons of mobs and complete a lot of puzzles. And well, that's it for all these tweets. So comment down below what the floors are, what do you think the different floors might be like, and if there's gonna be puzzles, even new mobs besides the tower guards and tower wraiths. Anyways, from now on, I'm gonna actually change my channel logo pretty soon, and I'm also gonna do more videos related to Minecraft because Dungeons is getting sort of not that interesting, but I'll still do, still make more videos on it and some gameplay. Anyways, see you all next time in another video. And also, be sure to hit that like button. Let's go for 10 likes for this video. And I'll see you all next time in another video. Peace out.